Hello everyone, welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We have a Mercury mission on its way, but we should think about what we are going to be doing next uh, in terms of crewed missions. So let's take a look here. Now I still haven't gotten the repeater orbital mission contracts working, so that's a bit of a problem. We do have a first spacewalk contract. I might want to up the value of that, but um, we are currently constructing the upgrade to the astronaut complex. That'll be in 50 days. So maybe we should get... I, I, can they even EVA from the Leo, uh, the Lynx? I don't know if they can EVA from the Lynx properly. Um, hold on a sec. We are going to... The <laughs> uh, questions that... Uh, you hate to ask. Uh, we are going to go to the sandbox save and see if a Kerbal can EVA out of the Lynx. Oh, hatches are obstructed. Gosh darn it. We can't EVA out of this. There, I, I'll use the solution I used before. Okay, so we just tested that in the sandbox. We can't EVA out of that. Okay, so we need to make adjustments to this. Do I have the, I have the, uh, the propellant only docking port? That'll be good enough for this purpose. Well, I, it shouldn't be, but we're gonna cheat. Um, where are the better docking ports anyway? When are we getting those? Okay, we can get proper docking ports here. We should just do that. Now, while we're unlocking that though, we can't actually use those. So temporarily we're going to have the Kerbal squeeze through a propellant only docking port. <laughs> but that's only that's only because this capsule can't feature EVAs. We're not gonna use the P40 cockpit. We're not that bad. We will use the Mark 1 crew cabin I think. Wait, no this doesn't have an EVA port either. Well, it has one at the end, but we can't use that. Gosh darn it. Have a Mark 1 pod just as a EVA capable thing? Okay, we are going to use the Mark 1 pod as our EVA port. I guess that works. It's a little bit expensive though. But any sort of thing that carries a Kerbal safe pressurized cabin would be. Arma I've got. Oh, that works. Okay, this looks super weird. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe that's all I can say about it. Of course, we're going to want to dump that to re-enter. So that's why we've got a docking port. Okay. Well, anyway, um, this is horrible. <laughs> uh... We'll say E. It's got, it's gonna take too long to build this like this. So we'll refurbish the existing one. Okay. So let's see if it works if I just open this up. No, no. Okay, yeah. It, it cut out the days that the <clears throat> capsule would take. It's not that many days. I thought it would be more days. Oh, uh, well. Well, some savings would be good. Well, we'll try to build this contraption out. Okay, but let's focus on the Mercury Missions Maneuver Node, which will get closer to Venus. It's going to do a flyby of Venus in order to get to Mercury, but that's still a long, long trip. Well, everything seems fine with the little probe so far. Hey, that's the Venus encounter over there. Seems like a pretty good match. Okay. 
All right, it's on its way, and uh, then we have another burn after Venus. But that seems to be thrown off. We'll wait until we pass Venus before we deal with that. So we're going to have the SOI change alarm for Venus. And that's probably the next thing we're going to do, because otherwise we just have a crude mission that's going to take forever to build. But let's go to the Space Center for the time warping. Okay, so let's... well, we can complete the Astronaut Complex. That's one thing out of the way. And then we are going to get that little Mercury probe into Venus SOI. Okay, there's Venus. Can we do some science here? Well, only if we have recovery for that, but there's a little bit of gravity scan, so we'll do that. But we're mostly just flying by. Okay, right by Venus. Still high over though. Ah, I missed a little bit. And we're back connected. So, let's adjust the uh, maneuver in 302 days so that we actually get to your, uh, Mercury. Hopefully. We just need to fly by. We did pick up the contract, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 20,000 kilometers. We can even hit it. There, that's looking nice. Obviously, this amount is not going to be enough to capture around Mercury. It's It says 13,000, so yeah, this is definitely not optimal for that purpose. But... We sort of had an emergency situation. We wanted to fly by, we didn't care how we got it, so... Well... I don't know why it should be that much, though. Hmm. Anyway, but... Suboptimal. So, we will get the flyby, hopefully. And let's add the alarm for that maneuver. But I think our crude mission should be done before then. Let's see. 266 until that one's done. Maybe I should replace the docking. We'll get the dock, bigger docking ports ahead of time, but maybe that's just not necessary. I'm skipping this Mars one. We really should have done the Mars one, though. <laughs> I regret that now. Yeah, I, I, well, maybe we should get some sort of interplanetary thing ready. So, next Mars one. We do have the second build slot. Odyssey Mars one. Okay, well now, now the comms should be easy, right? <laughs> this one was supposed to do the specific orbit. Position satellite in a stationary orbit of Mars, that particular one, over a particular place. Maybe I should beef up the rocket to help out with that. We are going to make a m rocket with more redundancy. So, more engines. We've sort of already done this with another rocket before anyway. Is that me too much tilt or just the right amount of tilt? I, I got less delta V out of that stage. <laughs> Wait, go back. It's 15,000 now. It hurts the bottom stages too much. I hate when that happens. These pressure fed tanks. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into the fairing. Okay, stuff has gone horribly wrong here. Okay, now we have plenty of Delta V buffer. And we can... I'm gonna build two. Um, and we'll try and do stuff with them. Okay. Well, we're facing the harrowing business of trying to do an EVA. The Kerbal had better be able to EVA properly. I'm so worried about this. Okay, um... 
I attempted to use Lemming again. We'll get Bill to do it. And just Bill. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Um, we're, we're wobbly. Anything about our numbers that should give me pause? I don't think so. Okay. SAS on. Thrall is up. Um, let's see. This was a recovered capsule, but it doesn't seem to be unset there. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? We have parachutes. <laughs> this staging is a little bit weird, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. This is horrible looking. Okay, fine. Ignition. And launch. What is this explodey icon? I better not click it. Oh, we had a battery short circuit. So that's off to a great start. There is a Soviet capsule that sorta has this sort of thing going. It has a sort of a launch escape tower on it. It was the VA capsule. I didn't like the look of that either. <laughs> okay, cutting some engines. Okay, staging. Well, Delta V wise, it should work out fine. Okay, getting to the end of this burn. It was a nominal burn for this engine, and it will still be suborbital. little service module, which is currently underpowered as far as electric charge is concerned, but that's fine. We intend to come back soon. We'll shut that down as OMS Burn 1, or whatever you want to call it, for first service module burn. Okay, we are now in a full standard orbit. Now, did I miss anything about the contract? Oh no, I forgot to pick up the contract. Ah. Uh, well, we should probably test out this method anyway. Hold on, but just for the heck of it, I'll try and pick up the contract to see if it accidentally works. <laughs> but we'll, we'll probably have to launch it again. Uh, oh, rescue from orbit of Earth. We do get the rescue contracts, by the way. I love the rescue contracts. They're so funny. Okay. Um, it only gives us one year, though. It does have a launch a new vessel thing. But I might as well check that that actually works. I'm gonna forget about it if I don't pick it up anyway. So, transfer crew. Well, EVA won't work. Okay, right. Transfer crew, transfer to the pod. Okay, now... EVA. Okay, EVA report. Keep. Oh, it's Tropic. Okay, so we get different EVA reports depending on surface. Oh, but I can't see that right now. Tropics. Well, we shouldn't exhaust all those. Savannah. Okay. Well, let's transmit the stored data. Not a whole lot. And because it's got the shell on, I'm going to have to use ship manifest to transfer him back, I think. Oh, I don't have ship manifest. Okay, well, then I'm going to have to do some clever clicking. Transfer. I have to click there. All right. Anyway, the only thing not checkmarked is launch a new vessel. Okay, we should still come back down pretty close to the cape if we come back down this time around. So let's do that. We'll get communication with Amalek. Okay, well... They're dumping that pod. 
server waste. Okay, off goes the service module. I guess it's sort of considered this a new pod because I took the craft file from the from the what you got. I loaded a new craft file instead of just edited the existing craft. So we got, I think, the effect of reusing the capsule, but it didn't really reuse the fact that we already had the scent mode on or stuff like that. We might be going pretty far in the Atlantic if we're this high when crossing Baja, California. Uh oh, that's red. Oh, did it lose power? No. Okay, hold on. I missed the message. What did you do to my pod? Oh, scrap. No, that's just the battery. Oh, communication failure. Okay. Well, Bill didn't want to talk anyway. So if, well, no, but uh, O-Scrap doesn't understand real antennas, so that communication failure doesn't actually have any effect. What do I need to do to convince you not to hold pitch? Well, we ended up way in the Atlantic. Okay, well, anyway, this looks to have survived, but we didn't actually complete the contract with it. Darn, launch a new vessel. Okay, arrow cap separation. Ooh, this time it was more violent than usual. I should, I think doing it earlier is better for clean separation. Okay, well, we'll have to turn this around quickly so that we can do the first spacewalk. Okay, um, well, we'll just say, yep. recover, recover to VAB. Okay, so we should refit that thing once it gets in. Okay, we're just going to open up the file. Okay, it knocks 425 days to 370 days, but it's still really long. Okay, well, we'll need to rush this a little bit. Rush build cost is really expensive, though. We gotta get one chance at that. Okay, so, yes, we have to next turn to our... Well, we can finish this one up first, but we have to turn to the Mercury mission. Okay. Trying to get to Mercury. And ignition. Okay, we have completed the burn. Let's see. Uh oh, we're crashing into it. Okay, we'll leave it crashing into it. We'll correct that when we get there, hopefully. Um, this seems to be in a good orientation for recharging for now. But it's got to cover a lot of ground before it gets there. Which means the sun's position will change a lot. So let's just go normal. And that's got to throw everything off anyway. Look at all that. But as long as we're left within 20,000 kilometers, we're okay. So, all right. We'll add the SOI change alarm. And we'll see it then. Our Mercury probe continues. Okay, I think the next thing we have to do is just that Mercury mission, so, but let's complete this. No, please, show me the actual intercept of Mercury. It's not showing me the intercept of Mercury. Oh, game's so mean sometimes. You can see how close we're getting to each other, game. Okay, I think we should turn to it.
Okay, can we... Can you admit that I'm going to actually meet up with Mercury here, please? Okay. Well, I would like to get closer to Mercury, so... And we have propellant that we're not going to use other otherwise, so... Okay, what's low over Mercury? Okay, gravity scan, temperature scan... Okay, onward! Okay, we are under 20,000 kilometers. Mercury flyby. All good. But let's continue trying to get science. New gravity scan. Okay, we should be close to Mercury now. Yep. Got a chunk of data. And we can just keep transmitting back all through this pass. Old cra Ah, oh, I missed the old craters. Pretty sure I got the Midlands. Keep missing the Highlands. Okay, high over starts at 2,000 kilometers. We have that, right? Yeah. Okay, I think we've got all that I'm gonna get for this time. We managed the Mercury flyby. Okay, so I think I'm gonna let this be. Back to Space Center. Okay, so we did that. The next thing would be actually doing the first spacewalk and completing it because I forgot to pick up the contract with poor Bill. Uh, but I'll save that for next time.